you plan on spending money for Miku and you want to build your own Hatsune Miku collection, watch this video. I will tell you 5 things to consider before buying Hatsune Miku figures. Let's begin. Number 1. Space. This is an obvious priority. If you plan to collect figures, you have to have enough space, especially if it's Hatsune Miku figures. It's because most of her figure poses are dynamic and her hair are mostly exaggerated. As you can see, I struggle with space too, but whenever I have extra cash, I try and buy a glass cabinet for her. Also, figure boxes. You see, I noticed that unlike other anime figures, most of Hatsune Miku figure boxes are enormous. Bruh, it's not a joke. Not only will you have problems with her figures for space, you will have to think of a way for her box storage too. Because unfortunately for us, her boxes are so darn pretty as well. You will never want to throw them away unless they look very damaged or you're just evil. You're not evil, right? Number 2. Hatsune Miku figure themes. If you have severe case of OCD, this is gonna hurt you a little bit. And your wallet will feel the pain too. <laughs> um, Hatsune Miku figure collection is so broad. Her character has gazillion versions. It's hard to catch up. For example, me. I gave up on completing every theme. I just buy any Hatsune Miku figure I could afford and cross by. Less stress, more happiness. Number 3 is figure quality. You see, not all expensive things are better. In Miku's case, the expensive ones are of course the ones that look better in terms of detail, size, color, and poses. But I noticed that they are the most fragile as well. Even if I handle them with care, although not all the time, but whatever, they just break on their own. The price figures, on the other hand, are long-lasting. Despite the imperfect designs and, you know, the messy colors sometimes, even when I accidentally drop them on the floor or the ground, they don't happen to break. And, you know, that's also great. Number 4, release dates. This is gonna tire the shit out of you, man. Hatsune Miku's fan base is crazy, and I guess businessmen know this too well. Almost every month, you see new pre-orders or prototypes of Hatsune Miku figures. And because she is queen, it's almost impossible to look away from the temptation of buying her figures. All I have to say is, good luck on controlling yourself, my friend. Number 5, the price. This is your biggest obstacle. You will have to devote a big chunk of your salary for Hatsune Miku. She will make you happy though. That's a plus. <laughs> Her figures range from $16 to $400 or more if it's rare. I'm not trying to discourage you here into collecting Miku figures, but I'll have you know it's always so tempting to buy the expensive ones, mainly because of the great details. So you have to take that into account before, you know, entering the Hatsune Miku collecting world. If you're watching this because you plan to buy your first Hatsune Miku figure or you already have her figures and you plan to expand your Hatsune Miku collection, I want to tell you to not have second thoughts. She is such a good character for a figure shrine. She has a lot of variations. You will never get bored. A lot of facial expressions you will fall in love with. And her figures are so damn colorful. She is indeed expensive and I have invested a lot of cash. But I can't say I regret buying her and making my own Hatsune Miku shrine. I don't expect you to understand me, but her songs and Hatsune Miku herself helped me on my darkest days. I just want to fill my life with Miku and I want to see it on figures. Even when I'm angry or sad or whatever emotion I'm feeling, I just look at her and I look at my collection and I feel better again. That turned sort of sentimental, but I hope you enjoyed, and I also hope you get encouraged to collect Hatsune Miku figures as well. Don't forget to leave a like and comment down below what are your thoughts. Do you want to collect Hatsune Miku now, or you have your own shrine? Please tell me in the comments below if you have characters that have their own shrines. I would like to know. I would love to see your comments, if ever. And, you know, subscribe if you like this kind of content. Thanks for watching. See you next weekend. God bless.